With affiliate marketing, you can make money by recommending other companies' products. That's right, you don't even need your own products to sell. My name is Pat, and these five products that I'm about to share with you have helped me generate over $1 million in earnings. That's not a million dollars in sales, that's a million dollars taken home after recommending them. Now, I'm not saying you should recommend these same products. Your audience is different than mine. But stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you the number one reason why these products all worked so well. A rule that you can apply to the products that you promote. Let's see if you can figure out what they all have in common, starting with podcasting equipment. Let me talk about these two microphones right here, the ATR2100 by Audio-Technica and the Samson Q2U. Over the years, I've sold over a quarter million dollars worth of just these two mics alone, which has enabled me to take home 20 to 25-ish thousand dollars. And then there's the Rodecaster Pro, which if I move the camera, you could see like this little box right there. Then there's these portable handheld recorders, the Zoom H4n, and then later this came out the H6. I also promoted this little lavalier microphone from Rode called the Rode Smart Lav plus a bunch of other pieces of equipment too. And then we include podcast hosting. And for me, I recommend Buzzsprout and Buzzsprout pays me over five figures a month in recurring revenue. So altogether, we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars over time. And of course, this just didn't happen overnight. But the biggest thing is I've talked about these things several times and in several different kinds of ways. For example, I promote these things on my website at smartpassiveincome.com. On my website, they're promoted in specific blog posts and also on our resource page. I filmed several videos here on this YouTube channel. I've recorded several different podcast episodes talking about podcasting where all this stuff is mentioned. And I've even promoted some of this stuff while on stage talking at events. Sometimes I do a review of the product and other times it's a demonstration on how to do something with it. And in many cases, it's just a simple mention during a step-by-step -step much larger process that I'm teaching. For example, in my How to Start a Podcast series here on YouTube, I mentioned the microphones, of course, the hosting and a slew of other things. Web hosting would be the next product that I promote that's done really well. Initially, I used to promote a product over at Bluehost, but their customer service got really bad, so I switched over to Flywheel. But all in all, web hosting has accounted for over a half million dollars in earnings over time, which is really insane to think about. But when you also think about what it is that I teach, I help people start businesses online. What's one thing that they all need to start a business online, or at least in the way I teach it? Well, they need a website. Now this brings to mind something really important that I wanna teach you about affiliate marketing. Do you think it's better to promote a whole bunch of different solutions, for example, five or 10 different web hosting providers and talk about each of them and compare and sort of contrast? Or do you think it's better to promote one and just say, hey, just use this one? Well, the correct answer in this case, and in most cases, is gonna be B, promoting the one recommendation. Why? Because of analysis paralysis or paralysis of analysis. Whatever it is, having too many options sometimes confuses people. Now, of course, comparison shopping is a thing, and yes, you can review many different kinds. However, what if you took the approach of, hey, I did all the hard work for you. There's many other options out there that you could choose, but this is the one that I found, so I'm gonna save you time. I'm gonna stop you from reviewing because I got the recommendation for you. It's this one right here. That's the approach that I took, and it worked so well because as an affiliate, you're also doing your audience a service by saving them time, by you stepping up, being the authority, earning that trust, obviously, and saying this is the one to go with. Another smart thing I did was I realized how much technology seems to scare people off. So when it comes to web hosting, it's a big first hurdle to get over, right? So what I did was I created a free course at Build Your Own Brand, which you can find at smartpassiveincome.com slash B-Y-O-B. It's absolutely free and it'll walk you through how to build a website. So again, it teaches you the entire process, but guess what? Through that process, I have a recommended host and that's where a lot of the affiliate commissions are coming from. Providing a ton of value for free and in a tool that people are gonna have to get anyway, I put in my recommendation and I show people the steps on how to use it. It's a very similar approach that I took with the third kind of product that I promote, which is an email service provider. Similarly, I also teach how to do email marketing and I talk about the product that I recommend, of course, with my affiliate link. And that product is ConvertKit. ConvertKit pays me a five-figure commission every single month. And the beauty of this is it's recurring income. Unlike the previous two, which are kind of just one-time commissions, this one is recurring, meaning if you sign up through my ConvertKit affiliate link, which you can see on the screen right here, not only are you getting a great product, but a certain percentage of that comes to me every single month, so long as you stay on. And this is the holy grail of passive income, that recurring income. Now, I also promote ConvertKit within a course, but this is a premium course which is pretty cool because everybody who takes this course called Email Marketing Magic, I set them up, they go through the process. These are premium users, so they're very likely to move forward. And yes, they do go through my affiliate link and I do convert. So I'm teaching something at a high level. There is an expected ROI from learning this information. Therefore, people are likely to actually go forth and pay money to convert it. And at no extra cost to the customer, convert it pays me.
Everybody wins. It's the kind of marketing I love where everybody wins. Speaking of everybody winning, I wanna tell you about a workshop that you can attend. It's going to happen very soon, and if it's already happened, it's just gonna be a replay here on YouTube anyway. So I'm gonna to link to it right now on the screen. If you go to smartpassiveincome.com slash affiliate dash workshop. Again, smartpassiveincome.com slash affiliate dash workshop. I'll put the link in the description below too. I'm gonna to teach you step-by-step step how to go about doing this because a lot of times, a lot of the information here is gonna go over a lot of your heads. So if you actually want to learn how to do this stuff, again, free workshop is over at smartpassiveincome.com slash affiliate dash workshop. Cool, let's move on to the next product, which may surprise you as a top product that I promote because it's actually my own product, but I promote it as an affiliate. What? This was a book I published in 2015. It became a Wall Street Journal bestseller, which I'm super, super proud of. Thank you so much for those of you who picked it up. But it is not against the terms of service, at least at the time of this recording, to promote your own product with your affiliate link. And not only am I making more money through the recommendation of my book through Amazon, I'm also making money with anything else a person might put in their cart when they check out with my book. That's a pretty good deal. Now, I don't have the specific numbers with me because Amazon Associates only shows me, I think, the last... A year or so, and this trails back to 2015, but it's a significant amount of money. I mean, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars, but here's the other thing. It's not just about the book sale. It's about what happens after the book sale. A lot of people come to my free companion course that's talked about in the book. I get their email address and I send them more information to provide more value. Many of those people want to go deeper, so they might go into my course Smart From Scratch or my email marketing course or a podcasting course. Maybe they become super fans and buy multiple products. It happens. Next, we have Circle.so, and this is the latest and greatest thing that I've been promoting as an affiliate because it is one of the best products that we use. Circle is a company that allows you to provide your own private community. Great place to bring your audience, especially because it's off of places like Facebook. It's like a beautiful marriage between Facebook groups and Slack because of the channels and just how easy it is to navigate and how intuitive it is, not just for the creator of the community, but for the users as well. We launched spipro.com in July of 2020, and it's been absolutely tremendous. And since using it, we've been sharing how it's been going. And while we are sharing how it's going, we've been talking about the tools we're using, and of course, Circle is that tool, and it's been providing nearly five figures a month now for us in revenue in a very, very short period of time, which is absolutely amazing. And the coolest part about this is people come back to us after going through our affiliate link and saying, Pat, thank you so much. This is exactly what I needed. It's so easy to use, and again, everybody wins. Community is becoming the center of our business, so I imagine that this revenue is going to grow even more over time, and as Circle becomes more popular, more and more people are gonna get on it and hopefully see a lot of our content and uh, go through our affiliate link. My affiliate link for Circle is on the screen or in the description below in case you wanna check it out. But again, big lesson there is it is the focus of our business. We're sharing as we go. And this takes me to the common denominator between all of these products that I promote and why they are so, so successful. These are products that I'm using and I share how we use them. I teach how we use them. They're just a part of our business, and as a result, we share it, and people are thankful for that value and click on our links. I'm not finding new products because they have a great commission or because somebody reached out to me and is promising a big payout, and then I promote it to my audience, and then I move on to the next thing. No, because I'm using Circle all the time, because I'm using ConvertKit all the time, because I'm talking about podcasting, and I'm known for podcasting, especially on YouTube, these products naturally come up organically in conversation. So if you're having trouble trying to figure out what exactly you should be promoting, well, what are you already using? And what of those things could be of benefit and of value to your audience? Talk about them, share why you're using them, what you like about them, what you don't like about them. Just be fully upfront with your audience and teach a system, teach a step-by-step -step process where these products actually fit in. Nobody's gonna get mad at you for providing a ton of value and just so happen to be adding the tools that they actually need that could save them a ton of time and money. Thank you so much. Hit subscribe so I can help you out in the next video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.